2 Timothy chapter 3. Moreover, understand this. In the Akharit Hayamim will come trying times. People will be self-loving, money-loving, proud, arrogant, insulting, disobedient to parents, ungrateful, unholy, heartless, unappeasable, slanderous, uncontrolled, brutal, hateful of good, traitorous, headstrong, swollen with conceit, loving pleasure rather than God, as they retain the outer form of religion but deny its power. Stay away from these people, for some of them worm their way into homes and get control of weak-willed women who are heaped with sins and swayed by various impulses, who are always learning but never able to come to full knowledge of the truth. In the same way as Janus and Jambres opposed Moshe, so also these people oppose the truth. They are people with corrupted minds whose trust cannot pass the test. However, they won't get very far because everyone will see how stupid they are, just as happened with those two. But you, you have closely followed my teaching, conduct, and purpose in life, trust, steadfastness, love, and perseverance, as well as the persecutions and sufferings that came my way in Antioch, Iconium, and Lystra. What persecutions I endured! Yet the Lord rescued me from all of them. And indeed, all who want to live a goodly life, godly life, united with the Messiah Yeshua, will be persecuted, while evil people and impostors will go from bad to worse, deceiving others and being deceived themselves. But you, continue in what you have learned and become convinced of, recalling the people from whom you learned it, recalling, too, how from childhood you have known the Holy Scriptures, which can give you the wisdom that leads to deliverance through trusting in Yeshua the Messiah. All Scripture is God-breathed and is valuable for teaching the truth, convicting of sin, correcting faults, and training in right living. Thus, anyone who belongs to to God may be fully equipped for every good work. End of Second Timothy chapter 3.